In this lecture, we are going to understand what is stock transfer. So first we will discuss about what is stock transfer and then we will talk about the difference between the stock transfer and the posting changes. So we will start with a business example. Sometimes you may need to tidy up your warehouse. This may involve moving stock to other areas of warehouse temporarily or permanently. As a company, as a company is implementing warehouse management and wish to know that how this can be done. As a SAP team member, you have been asked to look at the availability of this function. So first we'll understand what is stock transfer. So we often have to move stock in the warehouse, that is we have to transfer stock. Moving stock to other areas of warehouse can be temporarily or permanently. Physical movement of stock happens. There are several reasons a material might need to be moved in the warehouse such as tidying up the warehouse or moving older stock to racks further away from the loading docks. If a stock transfer is required as a part of the cleanup efforts in the warehouse and it does not change the quant character of or storage location stock levels, you enter it in WM only. So we'll talk about how we do it in WM only in the next video later on. Um, so before we move ahead, we we'll try to understand the difference between the stock transfer and posting change. So they look similar, but there's a little bit difference. So like we have seen in the previous videos regarding the posting change, so posting change means a change to, to at least one of the following quant characters of the quantity of stock. For example, the change can be within material number, like we're moving the stock from one material to other material, or stock category, special stock assignment, plant and storage location assignment, or can be a batch management. So that means we're moving the batches from one batch like in the previous video we have seen we're dividing a batch for a material like that so these are the examples of the posting chain notice uh, one another main difference is physical movement of stock may or may not happen in the case of posting change however in the case of stock transfer uh, there, there must be a physical movement of the goods that will happen so that's the difference between the uh, stock transfer and the posting change. Uh, now you got some understanding about what is stock transfer and regarding some more step-by-step uh, process, step process we'll talk in the next video. So just for now a recap so today we learned about what is stock transfer and what is the difference between the stock transfer and the posting changes. So that's all about this video and thank you very much to watch this.